The UK's departure from the European Union has brought many challenges and uncertainties for the car manufacturing sector, especially for Vauxhall, one of the oldest and most iconic British brands. Vauxhall's parent company, Stellantis, which also owns Citroën, Peugeot and Fiat, has warned that the current Brexit deal could force it to shut down its UK factories in the coming years, unless the UK government can reach a better trade deal with the EU. The threat comes amid concerns about the impact of Brexit on various aspects of Vauxhall's UK operations, such as tariffs, regulations, supply chains and workforce. One of the main issues is the rules of origin, which determine how much of a product's value must come from the UK or the EU to qualify for tariff-free trade. According to the Brexit deal, from 2024 onwards, 45% of the value of an electric car should originate in the UK or EU to avoid tariffs of 10% when exported to mainland Europe. However, Stellantis has said that it is unable to meet these rules of origin due to the rise in raw material costs during the pandemic and the energy crisis. This means that electric vans made at Vauxhall's Ellesmere Port plant in Cheshire will face tariffs that will make them uncompetitive with Asian imports and jeopardize the future of the plant. Stellantis has urged the government to renegotiate the rules of origin and keep them as they are until 2027 giving more time for the UK and EU to develop their battery production capacity. Batteries are a key component of electric vehicles and account for a large share of their value. However, there is currently insufficient battery production in the UK or Europe to meet the demand for electric vehicles, which is expected to grow rapidly as governments phase out petrol and diesel vehicles by 2025 and 2030. Stellantis has said that it needs to rely on sufficient UK or European batteries to reinforce the competitiveness and sustainability of its UK manufacturing plants. Another issue is the regulatory alignment between the UK and the EU, which affects the standards and certifications that Vauxhall's products must comply with. The Brexit deal allows for some divergence in regulations over time but also provides mechanisms for resolving disputes and imposing sanctions if either side breaches its commitments. Stellantis has said that it hopes for a pragmatic approach from both sides to avoid unnecessary barriers and costs for its business. It has also called for more clarity and certainty on future regulations, such as emissions targets and safety requirements. A third issue is the impact of Brexit on Vauxhall supply chains and workforce. The car industry relies on complex and integrated supply chains that span across multiple countries and regions. The Brexit deal has introduced new customs procedures and paperwork that have increased friction and delays at borders. This has disrupted the flow of goods and materials between Vauxhall's UK factories and its suppliers and customers in Europe and beyond. Stellantis has said that it has invested heavily in preparing for Brexit and adapting its logistics processes, but it still faces challenges and risks in maintaining its efficiency and quality. Brexit has also affected Vauxhall's workforce, which consists of about 5,000 people in the UK, mostly at its Ellesmere Port and Luton plants. The Brexit deal has ended free movement of people between the UK and the EU, which means that EU workers who want to work in the UK need visas and work permits. This has reduced the pool of talent and skills available for Vauxhall to recruit from. Stellantis has said that it values its diverse and multicultural workforce and that it supports its employees through training and development programs. In conclusion, Brexit has had a significant impact on Vauxhall's UK plant, affecting various aspects of its operations such as tariffs, regulations, supply chains and workforce. The current Brexit deal poses a threat to Vauxhall's export business and the sustainability of its UK manufacturing operations unless it is renegotiated or improved by both sides. Stellantis has said that it wants to continue investing in the UK but it needs more support and cooperation from the government to ensure a competitive and stable environment for its business. The future prospects and challenges for Vauxhall's UK plant and its employees, such as relocation, closure, or adaptation the Vauxhall plant in Ellesmere Port, Cheshire, is one of the oldest and most iconic car factories in the UK. It has been producing cars since 1964 and currently employs about 1,000 workers. 
The plant is also a major source of income and pride for the local community. However, the plant is now facing an uncertain future due to the impact of Brexit on the UK's automotive industry. The parent company of Vauxhall, Stellantis, has warned that it may have to shut down the plant unless the government renegotiates some of the rules in the Brexit deal that put its operations at risk. One of the main challenges for the plant is to meet the rules of origin that require 45% of the value of an electric car to originate in the UK or EU to qualify for trade without tariffs. This means that the electric vans made at Ellesmere Port need to have enough locally sourced parts to avoid paying extra fees when exporting to mainland Europe. However, Stellantis has said that it is unable to meet these rules due to the rise in raw material costs during the pandemic and the energy crisis. The company has also said that there is insufficient battery production in the UK or Europe to meet the demand for electric vehicles.